And now, Sports Line. It was homecoming at Hold Arena, and for the Idaho State football team, it was an opportunity to get their first win of the season. The Bengals came in today with a record of 0-6, but have been improving as of late and wanted to cap off their rising play with the win. Raiden Hunter is getting pumped with his teammates, and there would be plenty to get pumped about. Benjamin Omaibu starts things off with the Bengals going 51 yards down the sidelines, all the way for a touchdown. The Mustangs trying to respond, but the pass is intercepted by Charles Ike, who gives the ball back to the Bengals, leading the Hunter, who's going to take it in from a few yards out to make it 14 to nothing ISU. Cal Poly would find a spark late in the first. Spencer Brash hit Zion Hall in the flats, and Hall is going to do the rest, going 19 yards all the way to the end zone. The Mustangs are right back in it, but Kioa Kayo would have other plans in mind. He gets the carry and sprints upfield, breaking a multitude of tackles on his way to the house. A 60-yard scamper and finishes it off with a flip in the end zone. What a play. Trying to add points before half, former Highland Ram Ian Hershey drills it from 47 yards out to make it 24-7 at the half. The Bengals would continue to pour it on in the second half. Suja Gasu bounces it to the outside and dives toward the pylon, and he's going to be in for him a touchdown. ISU was playing some inspired football. Brash would come back on the next drive, finding Josh Cuevas for a 19-yard touchdown. But the Bengals would bounce back once again, this time thanks to Xavier Gilroy, who is not going to be stopped on his way to a 71-yard touchdown catch. The Mustangs would bring the game within six. But a pair of interceptions by Ike and cornerback Josh Alford, they will be singing in Pocatello tonight as the Bengals get their first win of the season on Saturday in a 40-31 thriller over Cal Poly and Hold Arena. It is also the first win for head coach Charlie Ragel as the Bengal head coach. And as you can see here, celebrating with his family, the moment was quite emotional. I got like four more guaranteed football games in my career. If something happens, something happens. But right now, and to win one of the last five was a really good moment for me. To quote the old Rich Rodriguez, as I often do, you know, there's nothing, nothing more special than a winning locker room. And to have that feeling as you walk off the sideline and know that you've won the game and that the, the team and the coaches, they're still fighting. It, it, it just uh, it shows a belief, in, in, and we're making progress to where we're trying to go. It was a blast you know, when they were you know, slinging water balls around and, you know, singing uh, all, we do, is all we do is win. Yeah, it was, it was great. It was great.